Thank you to the IAS and the organizers for allowing me to present our data today. I'm presenting on behalf of the primary author who was unable to join us, uh, Mr. Wipat Wimonsat. The 2010-2014 Thailand guidelines recommend that MSM at risk for HIV uh, access HIV VCT at least every 6 to 12 months. The 2014 to 2016 Thailand National AIDS Strategy also sets goals for the year 2016 that 90% of MSM access annual HIV and VCT. We at the Selom Community Clinic at TROP Med have been providing HIV VCT to Bangkok MSM since 2005, and we are one of the largest MSM friendly clinics in Thailand. For the past 10 years, our clinic has provided confidential VCT services in a convenient location and convenient hours for MSM, and we just hit our 10,000th client and 40,000th uh, client visit, uh, and this is our 10th year anniversary. We provide state-of-the-art one-stop shop counseling and testing services while MSM can also comfortably enjoy their privacy with anonymous testing. We provide comprehensive HIV, VCT, and care, including pre-test and post-test counseling, risk behavior reduction counseling, packages of condom and sexual lubricants, tests for immunity to hepatitis A and B, viral infection, and evaluation and treatment for syphilis infection, of which we see uh, a great deal. Uh, we also do symptomatic screening and treatment for all the other STIs, common STIs. For those who test negative for HIV, we recommend them to repeat the test every six to 12 months or whenever they are exposed, uh, where they feel they are exposed to HIV or an STI or feel they are having symptoms of HIV or an STI. For those who test negative for HIV but are diagnosed with an STI, we provide STI treatment and recommend them to repeat the VCT in the next three to six months. The objective of this analysis is that we investigated whether our clients are meeting the Thai national recommendations by describing the proportion, trend, uh, and repeat VCT within 12 months for first-time VCT testers, and we described the factors associated with repeat VCT among the HIV uninfected clients of our clinic. We included only HIV inf uninfected clients who had their first VCT between 2006 and 2013, had never participated in the studies conducted at our clinic or any of the clinical trials, and had been with us for more than one year. Clients could be either MSM, MSW, or transgender women. In each calendar year, we looked at the number and proportion of those who had another VCT within the next uh, subsequent 12 months of their first VCT. For example, tester A must have his first VCT visit in year one and then the second within 12 calendar months, either in year one or year two. To calculate that proportion, tester A is counted in the numerator among those who had their first VCT in year one. We use the binomial distribution to calculate 95% confidence intervals for the proportions. We used a chi-square test for trend to test for changes in these proportion over time, uh, over calendar years, we grouped our clients into those who repeated VCT within 12 years, uh, 12 months, sorry, and those who did not. Uh, and we used multivariate logistic regression to determine the factors associated with repeat VCT uh, within 12 months. As this is an anonymous VCT service, the variables included in the regression model are only those of, of simple demographic information, such as age, uh, birth month, birthplace, nationality, time of VCT visit, and STI diagnosis and result, and uh, location. We followed our clients until October 2014. For the results, there were nearly 4,600 men in this analysis that met our criteria. The majority of them were 25 years or older, or of Thai nationality, and lived in Bangkok or the peripheral provinces. Almost half had been with us since uh, before October 2010, more than uh, four years, therefore. Almost half had subsequent VCT, usually two times with median, a median time between tests of 17 months. And about one-fifth had repeated VCT within 12 months. When we looked at the proportion of repeat VCT within 12 months by calendar year, the proportions ranged from 15% in 2007 to 26% in 2012. 
and the p-value for this chi-square test for trend was less than 0.01. When stratified, the proportions from the years 2006 to 2010 were generally lower than those for the year 2011 to 2013. From the multivariate logistic regression, we found that repeat VCT within 12 months was associated with being of younger age, of joining our clinic after October 2010, repeating VCT on one's own birth month, uh, repeating VCT during the peak visit months, which in Thailand are the months following the major Thai holidays, namely February, March, and May, and also having been diagnosed with an STI. This analysis has its limitations, as this is an anonymous VCT services. We collect a minimum of risk factor data. Uh, we collect much more information in our uh, MSM cohort populations. Uh, men who presented themselves or were referred to our clinic might not be representative of MSM in Bangkok. We did not assess the effect of uh, stigmatization and testing-related trauma as barriers to repeat testing. We also did not assess the quality and preference of counseling as well as clinic facility and location as motivations or barriers to repeat testing. Uh, we did move one time during uh, the past 10 years. We did not fully assess the effect of the 2010 MOPH guidelines as motivation to repeat testing. And our clients might repeat the test elsewhere per their preference, thus leading to underreporting proportion at our clinic. Um, just in the past year, there are three or four new MSM-friendly testing sites run by NGOs or CBOs in Bangkok, as well as the three major testing sites run in Bangkok that have been there for quite some time, including ours. So in summary, between 2006 and 2013, we found a slight but statistically significant increasing trend uh, in the proportion of MSM who repeated VCT within 12 months. However, only one-fifth of our clients are following the current recommendations, far from the 2016 goal of 90% set by the Ministry of Public Health. And as for the higher odds of repeating VCT found among younger men and those with an STI, we think that realizing one's own risk might influence the timely subsequent uh, return to VCT. In addition, uh, in terms of a sort of social cultural interpretation of what's happening uh, during this period. Um, as for the lower proportion during 2006 and 2010, we postulate that there were the multiple political unrest events happening in Thailand, and there was also a major flood in Bangkok uh, during this period may have had an effect. Uh, and also the release of national recommendations for two tests per year in late 2010 might have influenced the increase in the proportion of repeating VCT among those who joined the clinic afterward. We think that counseling messages to emphasize annual VCT should be strengthened and systematic strategies to retain testers are really needed. And based on the correlations we found between repeating VCT and testing during one's own birth month uh, and also during the, the three peak visit months, we think these times can be used as reminders for routine VCT. I'd like to thank the co-authors on this paper and the staff at the Selom Community Clinic at Trot Med in Bangkok, uh, as well as the, uh, our outreach workers and uh, all the VCT clients. Thank you.